If you're a D&D &D fan, you may be a big fan of some new audio uh, stories coming out that are narrated by some of your favorite celebrities on audio. And yes, they will be free for the next 40 days until midnight, September 21st. And you can listen if you have an Audible account. But we have a few samples right here to listen to some of our celebrities, the first of which is Ice-T. Trusting that the intelligent Pegasi would remain calm and safe, the pair moved off with all speed stealthy and nimble across the uneven stones. They headed northwest initially, thinking to approach the long ravine a bit ahead of the orcs. But the sound of metal against stone stopped them and turned them back to the southwest. All right, let's move on to the next one, which is Weird Al. Quent, too, had expected to die in that seemingly suicidal encounter. But somehow, and with the support of heroic friends and a clever gnome, he and some of the gutbusters had found their way to the cliffs and down to Mithril Hall's western doors. It had been a victory bitterly won through honorable and acceptable sacrifice. Despite that truth, Thibbledorf Puent had carried with him the echoes of the second part of Hunklebart Hardheader's toast, when he had hoisted his flagon proudly again and declared, And I'm knowing that dead or hurt, Thibbledorf Puent's not leaving me boy behind. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, Greg Grunberg. And Trary peered around the shack's corner down the muddy lane. Right on schedule, he whispered as the newcomer strolled onto the other end of this relatively straight section of road. Predictable. And Trary curled his lip up, thinking that predictability was indeed a weakness. I like it. So oh, dramatic. God. Sanders a big fan of Greg Grunberg. It's so funny because I went into this like Tom Felton, like I want Draco Malfoy to read me a bedtime story every time. <laughs> Greg Grunberg, I was very, very impressed with his reading. So in addition to Ice-T, Greg Grunberg, and Weird Al, we also have uh, celebrity narrators including Felicia Day, Sean Astin, Tom Felton, Will Wheaton, Dan Harmon, Danny Pudi, yeah, and Melissa Rauch, Michael Chiklis, and David Duchovny, all lending their voices to this project, and yes, Yes, you can. I'm reminding you again, listen to it for free. Awesome. It's funny because this story, like a story like this came out a while ago that was just saying like Ice-T is reading a D&D &D book for an audiobook. And I was sitting there thinking like Ice-T is reading the Monstrous Manual or something or like the DM's handbook. Like, yo, then you got to roll a D20. And he's like confused about what he's saying. I think he's kind of knows what he's saying. Now it makes more sense that it's actually a story because you have Ari Salvatore's Drizzt Saga. And I think the, the short stories work for this and introduce it to a whole new audience. Because like I grew up with with the Forgotten Realms books and with the Dragonlance books and things like that. I was more of a fan of Dragonlance, but whatever. Um, what? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. But, but I think this is a good thing because Drist, one, has like a million books in his like saga. Mm -hmm. So, it, and it opens it up to, to a new audience that maybe didn't get exposed to, to that drow. That's out there. <laughs> but it's drown. a good story, yeah. I always want to play a drow, and my friend's like, no evil characters. <laughs> He's not evil. He always wanted to be a ranger. Well, I would play it evil. <laughs> what do you think, Tim? Um, so you're telling me these stories are good, because I had never read any of yeah. these. Okay, well, so this, this is not <laughs> mediocre stories that needed a lot of star power. These are stars that are interested in or have been approached or I think it's a mix of both like okay. you have the I've definitely seen Dan Harmon play D&D &D in Harmon Town before and you have he like, was good too like Felicia Day or Will Wheaton I'm sure were interested in the but project, I see it never played D&D before so. I see yeah I don't know where he came from <laughs> <laughs> I mean it's a cool idea but again why do we need celebrities for this there because are thousands of voice actors out there who because would do... they're so high profile mm. again that you're going to you're gonna be like so what's that's this what about you in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a draw. Yeah, yeah we're no, that's talking true. about I get it now. It. Yeah. I get it. It worked. And not only that, Audible is genius because they've had a campaign in the works for forever. Like you get it all over YouTube, you get, and they know how to market to like the nerd crowd, and so they know what they're doing. And Audible has been is not sponsoring me yet. So. Audible, if you want to sponsor us, yeah. I'm into that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel as though every company in the world is just hitting me over the head with these are people that you know. Listen to this, watch this, play this game. You recognize that face, right? Marketing. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's what works. It, yeah. it does work. It, 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 it is a more pro, high profile story now, and it's, in a, it's running in a lot of places. And, you know, honestly, I hadn't read these stories either, but I think I will listen to them now, especially because they're free. Mm -hmm. 
I'm curious what our voice actor friends like Matt Mercer think about Ice T getting all the good audible oh, jobs. I think now. Um, John DiMaggio has talked about it before. Mm. Um, it's it's kind of a mixed bag because one you know the voice actors are obviously better at voice acting than standard actors and you do see those high profile roles starting to move away but at the same time it does get more people or more viewers or a bigger audience on board so it's and that's the whole point yeah. And not only that, but I think this is just my opinion that I think most of the time voice actors like start out in the audiobook world and then move on to other media. So to have someone that's in the front of other media move into the audiobooks, I think that's like not taking too much work away from voice actors. Maybe. Okay. This is a different debate yeah. for another time. So let us know what you think of these D&D tales available on Audi uh, Audible from the celebrities. Maybe you don't think celebrities should be narrating these audiobooks. Let us know what you think below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>